Today, I'm going to show you how to create a mesmerizing golden particle logo and text intro using Filmora 13. Check out how awesome it looks. Hey there, folks, welcome back to Solly Tutorials. Today, I've got something special to reveal to you. But before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tutorials. Alright, let's get started. First things first, fire up Filmora. Once you've got it open, it's time to import your logo from your computer to kickstart our intro. Now, in my arsenal, I've got three distinct logos stored in this folder. I simply drag and drop them into Filmora 13 Media. Take a peek at these logos, they're pretty slick, right? Feel free to import one or more logos based on your preferences. Next up, we head back to our computer to snag those fantastic free intro files and import them into Filmora Media. You'll find all the download links for these goodies down in the description. With the files imported, let's trim that gold reflection video to roughly 3 seconds in the media section. Then, just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Easy peasy. Now, grab your logo and drop it onto the timeline as well. Remember, your logo should be white with a black background. Once your logo is in place, position the playhead at the end of the logo and snap a screenshot. This ensures that the black background seamlessly blends with your logo. Make sure to save the screenshot in JPG format. Now, delete the original logo from the timeline and drag the screenshot onto the track above. Double-click on the logo screenshot and navigate to the compositing tool in the image panel. Switch its blending mode to multiply. Now, if you want to extend the duration of your logo animation, let's beef up the length of the gold reflection background below. Simply right-click on the gold reflection background, hit duplicate, and voila! Now, let's add some flair to our video. Take that duplicated video we made earlier and reverse it using the speed tool. Easy enough, right? Next, grab another duplicate of this video using the Alt plus left click drag shortcut. Extend the duration of the logo to about 10 seconds for that extra impact. And if the gold reflection video in the background needs a longer run, feel free to adjust its speed accordingly. Once you've got everything in place, it's time to export. You can convert the video to MP4 format or tweak the export settings to suit your needs. That's how I bring my other two logos to life. Simply follow the same steps for consistent results. To swap out logos, use the Alt plus left, drag it over the logo track on the timeline, and it seamlessly replaces the previous one. Don't forget to export once you're satisfied with the animations. After exporting the animated logos, clear the timeline and head back to media. Drag and drop the video named BG onto the timeline, followed by BG Part 1 on the second track. Double click on BG Part 1, navigate to the basic section of the video panel, and switch the blending mode to screen. Now, Locate BG Part 2 and drop it onto the third track of the timeline. Again, select screen for the blending mode of this video. Next, import our freshly animated logos into Filmora Media. 
I've got all three animated logos neatly organized in this folder on my computer. Drag and drop the desired logo onto the timeline. This animated logo should snugly fit into the fourth track. Double click on the animated logo video, head to the basic section of the video panel, and switch the blending mode to screen. Lastly, back in media, find the video named PRT main, preview it. Now, let's fine tune our arrangement. Drag and drop the PRT main video onto the track above the timeline, positioning it at the start of the track. Below, adjust the position of the logo video to align with the desired duration. Change the blending mode of this video to match PRT main, selecting the screen option. Next, shift the PRT main video up one track on the timeline, leaving an empty video track below. In this track, drag another video from media. This video is a white video called vid. After dragging it, switch its blending mode to multiply. Now, let's add a freeze frame at the start of this video. Select the video, head to the speed tool, and click on add freeze frame. Play the video and pause at the point where the explosion of smoke and gold particles occurs in the above video. Adjust the duration of the freeze frame accordingly. Next up, add two transform keyframes to the start of the gold animated logo below. In the second keyframe, reduce the scale values to around 50%. This will zoom out and reveal our gold logo gradually. Now, this is a critical moment. Carefully adjust the freeze frame and keyframe animation to ensure our logo is revealed like magic. With the gold particles intro reveal complete, there's just one more thing left, the sound effect. I've got a fantastic SFX sound effect lined up for this intro. Drag and drop it onto the timeline, and there you have it. Folks, your golden particle logo and text intro is now ready to shine bright and captivate your audience from the get-go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, and share it with your friends to spread the knowledge. For more awesome tutorials and creative content, remember to subscribe to Solly Tutorials and join our ever-growing community of creators. Until next time, keep creating, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of your creativity. This is Solly signing off. Catch you in the next one.